Hello, this is Mark Penfold again. It is July 1st, 2018, episode 2 of the Audio Bible Lover vlog. Uh, just a quick announcement of a LibriVox project that I just completed. It is the Book of Ephesians, Paul's letter to the Ephesians. I'm currently working on Paul's letter to the Philippians. So, uh, it's uploaded onto the LibriVox site, awaiting uh, proof listening. And so, depending on how that goes, it should be out in the next week or so. Then onto Paul's letter to the Colossians. I'm uh, referring to my project, uh, the New Testament in Modern Speech, a 1903 publication from translator Richard Francis Weymouth. So, uh, as I said, the next book to work on in that particular project will be Paul's letter to the Colossians. So, uh, this is going to be kind of a short video this time. I wanted to ask a question and maybe get some answers from anyone out there who may know anything about what's going on with this, but uh, on November 21st, 2010, the Truth and Life Audio New Testament was released using the Revised Standard Version Catholic Edition as the text. And um, I liked it. Uh, there were some people on there who were also involved in the uh, Word of Promise Audio Bible, the New King James Version. Uh, let's see. Sean Astin, Michael York, and a few others who were in the who were on I should say the Word of Promise audio Bible are also on the Truth and Life audio Bible. So uh, that's been almost eight years. And in the package, you'll have to excuse the dog barking in the background. In the inside, you know the folders or the pockets where the CDs were. The producers of the Truth and Life New Testament mentioned that there would be an Old Testament coming out soon. And so I thought at that time, oh, okay, cool. I can't wait. Problem is, it's been over seven years. <laughs> okay. Um, I didn't know seven and a half years constituted soon. <laughs> so I'm just wondering if it does anyone out there have even the remotest bit of information they could share with me about the Truth and Life Audio Bible Old Testament, or whether there will even be an Old Testament. Now, ostensibly, there will be parts of the deuterocanonical and or apocryphal books in that Old Testament. So, yeah, I've been waiting a long, long time to find out, and I'm, I'm curious to know whether anyone out there has any information whatsoever on whether there will even be an Old Testament project, or whether that's been altogether scrapped. I mean, I gotta say, if there's one big pet peeve of mine, it's when audio Bibles are released, but only in the New Testament. Now, yes, the Old Testament is the, the house, as it were. The problem is, the Old Testament is the foundation upon which the New Testament stands. You cannot have one without the other. I'm, I'm trying to think of a quote about that that I heard a while back. It's, in the old, the new is concealed. In the new, the old is revealed. So you cannot have one without the other. You cannot understand the New Testament without the Old, and vice versa. You cannot have them separated from one another. And that's what also bothers me about these projects, you know, where they record New Testaments for missionaries and... Uh, people who go to remote parts of the world to preach the gospel. And all they have is the is that culture's uh, excuse me, 
linguistic interpretation of the New Testament. That's all they've got. So now what's going on here is, yes, they have a New Testament, but then, you know, it's like they have 25% of the Bible, but where's the other 75%? It, does, it, it just doesn't make any sense to me. It really, really, really shakes my shackles when, when people do that, when they release only one part, one small part of the Bible, and the other three quarters is just gone. I just, I, I cannot understand that for the life of me. So that was basically the crux of this video, you know, along with the announcement of my uh, completed project. So if anyone can shed some light on that whatsoever, I'd be greatly, I'd greatly appreciated. Um, because I would really like to know if there will ever be an Old Testament or not. So anyway, that's my short episode two. Uh, I will keep you up to date on any future projects that I have coming down the pike. And I will see you in the next video. God bless.